Hello everyone and welcome to our 2020 webinar UCC BCom Convention. My name is Dr. Rose Murphy, co-director of the BCom here in UCC and you're all very welcome. As you're probably aware, our BCom Convention, which is an annual event, was to take place on April the 22nd physically in UCC. Unfortunately, that cannot go ahead right now. And I know we had left a number of students disappointed because of that. However, we have gone online and we have now in reinvented our BCom convention and it will take place virtually over a series of live interviews with key speakers. These interviews you can actually watch at your own convenience and adhere to social distancing, keeping the whole of Ireland safe. Our Bachelor of Commerce is a challenging programme designed for motivated students who intend on making a future impact on the business world. It is in existence for over 100 years it is transgenerational, and it is progressively run to meet the ever-changing demands of industry. All business modules are rigorously covered in this innovative program, while also providing the opportunity for work placement and semester abroad. You can pick a specialization in year four, which is the final year of the BCom program, a specialization in a very innovative business major. The design of this program is of immense benefit to students. As we do not ask students to pick their area of specialization straight away, students undertake all business modules at a third level standard and then and only then they pick their area of specialization and business major and are able to make a more informed decision. The majors that are available I will share with you on screen now in year four range from banking and financial markets, human resources and leadership, innovation, entrepreneurship and strategy, marketing and consumer understanding and operations and supply chain. And what this diagram here on screen indicates is the diversity of career paths that are enabled by the BCom program. During this convention series, I will be speaking with past graduates who are now current employers in each of these business majors along with current students. To begin with today, I am delighted to be speaking with Mr. Shane O'Regan, who is a senior audit manager in PricewaterhouseCoopers in Cork. Shane would have taken our banking and financial markets major, and Armina Godchkin, who is a current second year commerce student. And I'd like to welcome you both and thank you for engaging in our BCom convention series. Shane, could I ask you, what did you value most about your university education? What I valued most about my BCom programme was the diversity of the programme. You've touched on it a little bit already in terms of the variety of subject choice that we had. And when I reflect on my BCom experience, what I really enjoyed about it was I had time to naturally grow through years one and three and sample a number of different subject choices. So as I kind of recap on my own experience and I look back on my BCom program, I look back at having experience in accounting, marketing, economics, law, politics, food business, management and organisation. And I think the first three years and the variety of subjects that I had, when I came to my fourth year to pick my specialisation, I was very clear in my mind which subject that I wanted to specialise in. And as you mentioned, I specialised in the banking and financial market sector, um, which enabled me to have a career then in the financial in financial services career. Um, one of the things I liked about my programme very much was the practical learning um, aspect of it. 
as we were constantly challenged through our group projects and our individual projects to challenge our way of thinking and maybe challenge perceived wisdom and assess different problems from different scenarios. And it probably broadened my horizons quite, quite a bit in terms of the projects that I would have done along the way through my commerce degree. That's fantastic. Thank you, Shane. And Shane, what path actually has taken you to the position that you are in the, at the moment in PricewaterhouseCoopers? So as I went through my first to third year, the, the subjects that naturally were, were of interest to me were the accounting subjects. Um, so when I came to my specialization in year four, I chose a banking and financial markets um, specialization. And I found that that was of most interest to me in terms of where my career would lead to. Um, and that really has given me the foundations to pursue the accounting based career that I have done post my UCC days in, in the VCOM program. Fantastic, thanks Shane. And Shane, currently there are a number of um, secondary school students contemplating and analysing all the different third level programmes that are out there. Have you any advice for these students? It, it can be a difficult decision for people to choose which, which programme that, that they do ultimately choose after, after their leaving cert. I suppose the, the primary piece of advice I, I would have is to look at the subject choice that you're doing and try to pick a, a degree program in college that naturally links up to something that you're doing in secondary school. I know in my own perspective, when I was doing my leaving cert, I did both accountancy and business studies, and I just found that those two subjects naturally led me towards the route of exploring a BCom degree and the variety and, I suppose, li linkage in that commerce degree that I would have had in terms of subjects of interest in my leaving cert program itself. That's fantastic. Thanks so much, Shane. Armina, could I just ask you a few questions and look to you for advice um, for our secondary school students at the moment who are in Leaving Cert. Armina, it was about this time two years ago that you were making decisions and selecting different third level programmes to put on your CAO form. Um, could I ask you, what were the key influencing factors that led you to make the decision to take the BCom programme? So for me, I wasn't particularly sure on exactly what area of commerce I wanted to study. Um, like Shane, I studied business and accounting studies for my leaving cert, so I knew I was interested in them, but I didn't want to commit to uh, specializing in one of them at such an early stage. So for me, the BCom really seems like the ideal choice here as it allows you to get a really great broad fundamental grounding in all of the major commerce areas and then based off of that you can make a really informed decision on what you'd like to study in fourth year. Um, also the fact that by studying such a broad range you could discover a passion for new subjects. For example for myself um, I hadn't studied economics in my leaving cert but studying it in the BCom I really grew a great passion for it. So um, in that sense I think it's really great if, you, if you're not sure exactly what road you want to go down the BCom is for you, I would say. Could I ask you, Armina, was the transition from a small Leaving Cert class into a large group of BCom students, was that difficult for you? I guess it was, it was, I would say, but it was something that I'd very much been looking forward to for a long time. Um, in secondary school, you seem to be in a bubble for quite a long time. You only know a certain routine or a certain way of doing things. University really challenged that routine. Um, at first, it is overwhelming to adjust, but UCC has such great supports, and the staff are all lovely, the people are lovely, and the educational supports you get are really great. So I wouldn't worry about transitioning from a classroom to a lecture room, as it does happen quite naturally. And you find when you're studying um, a course that you chose, that you chose to be interested in, it comes all the more naturally to you and you put in the work more for it to all be an easier transition. Did you get any surprise when you came into the BCom program? Did you anticipate it differently than it actually is? It is a very unique program. I guess going into it, it was all about, oh, it's very broad and it's very general. But in saying that, it's also not. Um, the majors are very employment led. So they're all designed to increase your employability when you come out of college and make you stand out. 
Um, so for me, I intend to take the banking and financial markets major. But what's great is that you have a vast choice of what major you'd like to go into. And that option is still open to you until you choose. So it's never too late to change your mind until fourth year. Um, also, it's a really great program in, in that it's not just strictly about the educational life. So in third year, we have the opportunity to go abroad to study um, in, a numerous, uh, in numerous countries, so both in, the, in Europe and also outside of Europe. Um, so I'm going to study in Pace University in New York next semester. And it's really something that I feel is going to shape my overall college experience for the better. Um, also, I would say what's really great about the BCom is uh, it's not just limited to the lecture room. So we have the opportunity to go on a work placement in third year from March throughout the summer. And what's great about that is you can apply all the knowledge and skills that you learned in the lecture room to the real world and the real working world and to projects that yield tangible results. So it's very rewarding and that can prove invaluable to choosing what major you'd like to go to in fourth year. Great, Armina. And Armina, if you had one piece of advice for Leaving Cert students now making decisions about their third level options, what would that one piece of advice be? I would say don't rush into things. If, for example, you know you're interested in a certain area, like I was interested in accounting, that doesn't necessarily mean that going straight into specializing that subject is the best choice for you. The BCom allows you to uh, affirm whether you actually do like that subject as much as you think you do. And if so, that's great. You can choose to then specialize in that in fourth year. So you get the best of both worlds, really. You get to still specialize in something you thought you were interested in and you are interested in, and you also get to explore lots of different modules. Um, one thing I would say as well about BCom that really distinguishes it from other courses is they really put a, a strong emphasis on critical thinking. So, for example, in my BU 2001 project, um, different teams were tasked with planning, organizing and executing different fundraising events for charities. And this was a really rewarding experience for second year commerce students. It's not something we anticipated um, doing in our course. So, for that, I would say the BCom is great. It's more, it's educational, but it's also the social side of business, the real working side of business. So I would really recommend the BCom for anyone in a position who wants to explore the vaster subjects of commerce. Thank you, Armina. And as we have Shane um, with us today, would you like to ask Shane's advice on anything, Armina, as Shane is a past graduate of our banking and financial markets major? And you were saying yourself, you're thinking of going down that road, but of course you have other options available to you as well. Is there anything that you would like to ask Shane today? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Hi, Shane. Um, so can I ask you, um, I am interested in going into the financial markets. And the financial market is one that has been subject to many events which have significantly changed the way business is conducted. So we are now faced with a climate of great uncertainty with COVID-19, and I'm sure many students would be interested in finding out how this affects the way business is conducted in PwC, what kind of policies are being implemented to try to gain some stability back in a time of great uncertainty. I think at the moment, as you mentioned, is quite a lot of uncertainty in the market. Um, when we look at our clients in PwC, an awful lot of uncertainty out there a lot of our clients at the moment in, in terms of the COVID-19 crisis are struggling, struggling with the simple things like working from home, getting their technology infrastructure in place. Um, I suppose and ourselves at PwC, we're, we're trying as, we, as best we can to support our clients through the current environment in terms of helping them where we, in terms of upskilling them so that they can work from home, sharing some of our technology tools or ideas or things that we're seeing in the marketplace that might help them to um, work from home in the current environment and it, most importantly that they can continue their operations as smoothly and as efficiently as we can. In part, a lot of my econ degree has probably helped me quite a bit of that in that obviously because of the range of subject choices that I had throughout my three, three or four years in the BCom program I probably have a number of different lenses in terms of my overall perspective on some of the challenges that clients are facing and I found particularly over the last couple of weeks I've kind of lent back a little bit to some of my, my college work in the BCom program 
in terms of the various subjects that I've studied to try and help me to understand and to support many of our clients in terms of the current challenges that they're facing so that we can try and support them through this, through this difficult time. That's great. Thank you, Shane. I suppose to sum up, I, I think both of you have made fantastic points about the DCOM program. And I think overall, you learn to become an independent critical thinker, a professional communicator, a team player, as well as a team leader. And I think what's important to bring out about the BCom as well is that it doesn't matter which of the majors that you intend to specialize in in year four, you will still come out a well-rounded business BCom graduate with the ability to transform the future of business. I'd like to thank you so much, Shane and Armina, for engaging in our first virtual series of our BCom convention. I would like to thank everyone for listening to me and to Shane and Armina, and hopefully we, our paths will cross again with series number two of our BCom convention. So stay apart and stay safe and best of luck everyone with your leading search.